You can see Bitcoin is at 26,900. So obviously Bitcoin went down slightly. And there's two reasons to explain this. And one of them isn't so good. First, I saw this. Here's why the US had to sweeten the terms to get SVB sales done. Now, recently, the Fed and FDIC has been working very, very hard at trying to prop up or AK bail out the banks. SVB obviously made headline news, really shook the market. And now it appears that First Citizens uh, Bankshare is acquiring SVB for $72 billion at a discount of 16.5 billion or 23%. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, right? And because of this, this bank, First Citizens, actually rising up. And I do think this actually caused some weakness with Bitcoin because people are thinking, oh, don't worry, bank failures are all going to be covered and protected, and we don't have to worry about bank runs in the future. But if you read through the details, um, this isn't really that good. The only reason why this went through is because look at this. FDIC remains on the hook to dispose of the majority of SVB assets, about $90 billion. What does that mean? That means $90 billion of SVB assets are held by FDIC. And are they really worth $90 billion? That's the thing. We don't know. So the reason why this went through and this bank bought SVB for 72 billion, which is already a 23% discount, is because they're not on the hook for this 90 billion, which could be only worth 9 billion at this point. The, the assets in question could be down 90% or 50% or 75%. We don't know. That's the thing. So this is basically a way for the FDIC, for the Fed, for the government to save face, to make it seem like SVB is now good, it's been bought out, everything is okay, right? But where's all this money coming from? Where are they gonna do the 90 billion? All this is going to lead to more money printing. It's really that simple. The money has to come somewhere and the government does not have any extra money. So they will be printing it. So strangely enough, I think this is one of the reasons why Bitcoin actually tumbled today because I think um, people are thinking, well, banks are safe. No, no, they are not. And th this is this is really a safe face operation for the Fed and FDIC. And I think we're going to see a lot more failures in the future. Now, the other thing I saw that probably definitely had something to do with Bitcoin's fall is this. CZ and Binance are being sued by the CFTC, not the SEC, surprisingly, for allegedly violating trading rules. Keyword, allegedly. Okay, so they are going after Binance. We know this. We know that the U.S. government has been trying to pin something on CZ and Binance for a very, very long time. They are uncomfortable with CZ, uncomfortable with Binance being as big as they are, and comfortable with Bitcoin and crypto overall taking off. So if you read through this, basically, what it comes down to is this. They say that there are VIP customers, which includes institutional customers, and some of them are located in the US. And they claim Binance and ZZ uh, purposely obscured where the exchange subsidiaries were located. And um, basically here, as part of Binance alleged efforts to generate fees to solicit users uh, was to use the exchange's VIP program for net high worth individuals, the CFTC filing said. And Binance is aware of the VIP identities in geographic locations because Binance monitors. Okay, so basically what it comes down to is they believe that there are these huge whales or VIP customers that may be in the U.S. and they are helping them trade, helping them um, operate in the U.S. Because we know Binance.com is not legally uh, not legally uh, allowed in the U.S., which is why there's Binance.us. But again, this is allegedly, you know Binance is easy, is going to fight this. And again, the timing of it, right, while the government is trying to save face, trying to save the banks, this comes out. I don't think this is by accident. I think this was timed perfectly to, again, shed more FUD around crypto, right? To cause some panic around crypto and exchanges to, to, to get people back into banks. Basically, this is one big diversion. And I think CZ and Binance will pull through this. I think this is just a ploy to cause more FUD at this point basically trying to help banks. 
But you know who's not fooled by this? Is Michael Saylor. Finally, finally, we see Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy make a big purchase. Not only did they repay their 205 million Silvergate loan, okay, they also acquired another 6,455 Bitcoins. 150 million. This is a huge purchase. Average price about 23,238. This is actually really low. So they they bought this finally. Uh, <laughs> at the low not at the top usually when microstrategy announces a buy they buy at the top right so this time actually compared to where we are about twenty seven thousand, this is low and now they hold about one hundred thirty eight thousand nine hundred fifty five uh bitcoins and 4.14 billion at an average of twenty nine thousand eight hundred seventeen. so they are still down a little bit but overall what michael and microstrategy have been doing is dca 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 and eventually they will be rewarded like the rest of us. This is the right strategy.